Good freaking evening, Key and Core Enjoyers. As you can see, I'm wearing a little cowboy hat. Definitely not little, actually, because my hair looks bad and I can't be bothered to fix it. You might be wondering, Key, and why are you on the floor? It's because my Monster High dolls are under my bed. This is not going to be professional. I'm not going to have any profound commentary. I just want to show you guys my dolls because I love Monster High still. All right, here we got. I forget her last name, but her first name was Skeleta, I think. You see, one of the best parts about Monster High dolls, also she's missing a skirt, but like half the dolls here are missing some sort of clothing, so get used to this. Like the best thing about Monster High dolls is that none of them cheaped out. All of them have these cool individual molds and like her especially, look, her entire figure is skeleton. They don't cheap out. Well, they didn't. They do now. With their stupid, unposable arms and their stupid, generic faces. Oh my god. Don't get me started on the new Monster High dolls. I will go on for way too long. She has a, um, a rainbow skirt. I just don't... I don't know where it is. I have a little container thing down here. Oh, there it is. I guess this will also be reuniting my doll's clothes with my dolls. Yeah, see? Twyla! She's not really cute, is she? People really seem to like Twyla but I don't really think I got the hype. She's a little sister body type, which I can always appreciate. For anyone who isn't like informed on Monster High doll sizes, as you can see, don't mind the missing leg, we'll get to that later. She's shorter. This is just the normal body. I mean, what do you really say about Twyla? She's just kind of, I don't know. Yeah, I forget what the name of this line was, but basically they were having a sleepover. That was the whole thing. This is Draculaura, and I remember I was trying to sit her to like take a picture of her in a pose, and I bent her leg back too far, and it fell off, and I cried. <laughs> you can still see the uh, the peg wasn't supposed to come out. I only know of one doll whose like legs are supposed to come off. Let me find her. She has a peg leg. That can come off, but like, I'm pretty sure this is like one of the only dolls where it's supposed to happen. Might I add the bed for this was so cute and so convenient because this was just the doll included with the, you know, her bed. I was a big Dracula fan. She was my favorite doll. She had her coffin and then like the little top opened up and you could keep stuff in there. I kept stickers in there. Do I still have her bed? <laughs> I did find this. I don't remember who came with this, but based on the decor, I'm guessing it was Frankie. Frankie was boring, gonna be real. This was her sweet 1600 car, and it's actually functional, which is great. It rolls! That way when I was playing with it and I wanted to get from point A to point B, I could literally just roll it. I don't know anything about her. I don't remember her name, but her hair is cool, her hat's cool, her leg's cool. She looks cool. That's pretty much all I know about her. Here we have Gigi. Honestly, I don't remember what she did either. Honey Swamp! I love her so much. One of her arms went missing. I don't know where it went. It's somewhere. Jennifer, definitely an OG. Don't ask why she's wearing a brat dress. I don't know. Oh God, she's looking rough. <laughs> um, we have Dracula Sweet 1600. She's had better days. I guess I ripped out her arm at some point. And she has the typical vampire bangs. How fitting. Operetta, oh my god. I'm pretty sure this is the roller rink series, seeing as how she's wearing the leotard. Or maybe I just put this on a different Operetta doll. But I know she has a helmet and she has the rolling shoes. I don't think I have the helmet, but I know I definitely have the shoes somewhere. Yeah, I have a lot of miscellaneous shoes. Oh! <gasps> I found Draculaura's arm. <laughs> I put these on every doll because I was always just like, these are so cool. Imagine just like rolling around in these all day. Like they're so cute. They have like, I don't know shoe terminology, but like essentially just a turtleneck on a shoe. I want these shoes IRL. Maybe not as heels because I feel like it'd definitely be hard to roller skate in heels. But God, these are just the coolest shoes ever. Look at Operetta. She has like this detailed molding. Oh, it's so cool. It's so cool. This isn't her leotard. We have Abby Bominable. I never really liked Abby. Oh, here we have this pompous French prick. This was Rochelle's boyfriend. I don't even remember getting him, probably because he was just so irrelevant and like whenever I played with him or whenever my friends were over, like nobody wants to play with him. Yeah, nothing really to say about him. Here we have Billy. Was his hair always this long? Is Billy's, Billy's hair this long? I put him in some other clothes at some point in time. Here are some One Direction doll pants. I'm sorry, but I don't have my One Direction dolls anymore. I would love to have them too, but they're just, they're gone, lost in time. This shirt was Heath's, I think. And these shoes were also One Direction shoes. I would always play with him. 
I would always play as Billy. As soon as I got this doll, he was my go-to. Signs that you're raising a young transgender boy. They always play with the emo boy doll. <laughs> no, but like, I don't kin. But everyone talks about gender this, gender that. Oh, he's so gender. Invisibility. He created gender. Invis fun fact, Monster High fun fact. Invisibility was brought onto this earth to create gender. He did it. Oh my God, here we have this absolute queen. I don't remember her name, but it doesn't matter. She's just cool. She's so cool. She's so pretty. That like, oh my God, just the color of her hair. Like, oh my God, dude. Oh my God. I'm pretty sure her and Honey Swamp were in the same like era. And there was a third doll. I don't remember who it was. It wasn't Claudia, no. Was it? Bruh. Nathan Rot. Oh my God. Oh my God. He's so cool. He is everything I wanna be. He's just simply put, he's a himbo. There is nothing behind those vacant eyes. Never had a single thought in his entire life for any reason at all. I think he was one of the uh, Freaky Fusion dolls. Well, duh. Yeah, because he's a zombie and also a unicorn, which is just mwah. Here we have Laguna, who I'm surprised is still holding on. <laughs> my friend would only ever play as her. Oh my God, she has both of her earrings? Yeah, she um, got played with every time my friend came over and she lived like right down the street. So like we play a lot. Her uh, skin is a bit beaten to put it lightly. That Laguna went through a lot. All right, well, I guess they're just eternally bound together. So here we have Spectra and Draculaura. Okay, well, I guess they're just friends forever then. Spectra's cool. I never liked her as a kid, but now I can appreciate her. She has the absolute coolest like thing with her feet where it goes from white and then it fades to transparent and then her cool little gold shoes cover it oh my god spectra's so cool her whole thing was that like she run a gossip blog which i can absolutely appreciate as somebody who i'm not gonna deny it absolutely loves gossiping there are two people in this world those who like to gossip and those who like to gossip but pretend that they don't like to gossip and here we have this cafe draculaura honestly ugly not quite sure what happened here frankie is looking absolutely smacked. You know how dolls have like the plastic gel stuff that makes their hair feel all weird? I guess hers just kind of decided to become sentient and just go cray cray. Go crazy. Go stupid. Uh, I don't know what clothes are hers. I don't even remember what doll this is. Here we have another Frankie. Um, she has a massive P on her chest. Shout out to my cousin who gave me her old Monster High dolls, but she wrote her initial on the chest of her dolls. So they just say P. And I think that's really funny. Here we have Rochelle, um, an absolute favorite. Always loved her, but um, I don't know where her clothes are. I don't even remember what they are. Might I add, this was like the original Rochelle. I don't know where all my diaries are, but I know somewhere are all of my Monster High doll diaries from like the original dolls. So somewhere is Rochelle's diary, somewhere in my room. I don't remember what her pants were though, but if I have her top, odds are I have her pants. Maybe it's either a cool color or just black or gray or white. Okay, I'm going to assume it is based on that one singular design. According to my inference before about it either being cool colored or black and white, it is literally all of those things. It's black, it's white, which can be gray, and also it kind of has a shimmer to it, which is mostly cool colors. So I'd say I was pretty on the nose. And if this isn't her outfit, um, oops. I'm putting her to the side. I might've screwed up. Bruh. Oh my God, my Torali is still pretty intact besides the hair. <laughs> oh, I remember I was so excited to get Torali. She is, Oh my God, she's so cool. She's literally just so cool. If you just like were to just, she looks pretty good. This isn't an OG Torlai. No, 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 no. Yeah, the original Torlai had like a bob, I think. Wait, no, this isn't Heath. Oh, wait. Oh, why would they make two characters with fiery hair? Who thought that was a good idea? Because now I can't remember if this one's, I, the other one's name is Heath, the blue one, because Jekyll and Hyde, wait. Wait, was it, cause I know Jackson Jekyll, he's right up there. He's sitting on top of my window and com he's completely naked, might I add? Jackson Jekyll, and was it Heath Hyde? No, his, Heath's last name wasn't Hyde, wait. Cause, she, cause this guy was dating Abby and Abby was dating Heath. But this isn't Heath, oh my God. But Abby wasn't dating the blue guy. I'm going, okay. 
hot fiery guy in a One Direction jacket. I this is Agulia in some sort of beach outfit. I'm pretty sure she had glasses too. But yeah, I never really liked Gulia as a kid, so I only have two Gulia dolls. Oh, here we have a different Laguna that I got much later. I remember I got her in like a Walgreens or something. I'm also really pissed that I gave away my um my Monster High high school, but that was my prized possession, and that was like I played with that for years, dude years. That thing brought me so much joy. I played with that high school for years and it's brought me more joy than I think anything on this earth. When I get my own place, I want to go on eBay and get one of the Monster High high schools and just like put it somewhere in my wherever I'm living and just have it as sort of a piece. This is Howleen. We all know her. We all love her. I have the original Howleen on my desk, but I don't feel like getting up and getting her. <laughs> Significantly better than this stupid, ugly Howleen. Boring. Flop. Moving on. Here we have Scarra Screams. I, I can't explain to you guys the joy I felt when I walked into Toys R Us because that's what my dad and I would do. We would like drive all the way to Toys R Us and I'd be like, okay, what's in the eye? What's in the eye? And then one day I saw her and I just about lost my little mind. Oh, her arm isn't even in the sleeve. Also, she doesn't have an arm. Okay. I think I just wanted her because she was rare, but honestly, in retrospect, she's so cool. I love her coat. I love the material. Is this a brat shoe or hers? Yeah, she wore go-go boots. Oh my god, that makes her even better. Yeah, yeah, absolute fire fit. And here we have an OG Gloom Beach Howleen baby. I am like so shocked that she's still so well kept. I'm pretty sure this was the doll that I got for my mom's friend for my birthday and my mom didn't love it. And then from there on out, I just kept collecting them and playing with them for years. So shout out to that girl. So cool. Thank you for getting me hooked on Monster High. Here we have Porter Geis. I'm pretty sure was his name. Yeah, he was all about like spray painting and being cool, which would be cool if he wasn't ugly. Here we have a Rochelle who looks disgusting. Not gonna sugarcoat it. Here we have Cleo Denial who was in shockingly okay condition. I never appreciated Cleo because she was just annoying and at that point in time I was still caught up on like you know the morals of the character not just appreciating a hot person when I see one. Rest in peace Cleo Denial. You aren't dead but with the new dolls you are absolutely dead. You would have loved Hot Girl Summer. Mwah. Here we have everybody's favorite. We have Venus. POV. Your lesbian awakening. I don't think there's anything to say about Venus. Everybody knows her. She was like at least like at minimum 10,000 people's lesbian awakening and i don't think there's anything you can tell me to disprove that fact here we have spectra um she doesn't have legs somehow miraculously my friend and i managed to break both of her legs and we just put them in tape with tissues and this has been here for um i'd say approaching a decade here we oh my god here we have the queen herself rebecca the coolest the coolest thing is that her legs can go backward because like she's a robot why not? This little thing that can move. Literally the best thing to happen to dolls ever. Enough of me being a Monster High boomer. Let's move on. That was a voice crack. Here we have Jane Boolittle, who pisses me off. But her hair is really soft. I'll give her that. I don't know what her thing is because all the monsters are supposed to like be something. Like, you know, Rebecca. She's a robot. Venus. McFly trap. So she's supposed to be like a cave woman? Which is like technically not a homeo sapien because like i guess i would count oh wait this is the roller rink operetta i knew it i knew that operetta was like off i just knew that wasn't right here we have some draculaura with a lot of gold i don't remember what line this was for yeah i have no idea but like she looks pretty cool she is oh my god i'll put a picture of her in she's so cool and onto the final doll that i was kind of saving for last because i just love her so much the sweet 1600 quad 